Hey guys, Jessica Kubasi here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the 24 to 70 Canon lens. This lens has been on my wish list for the past two years. A lot of my favorite fashion photographers use this lens, so I really just wanted to know what the hype was about. I tried to rent this lens out. Something happened where I was not able to test the lens out for the two days that I was renting it. So I returned the lens and never really got to test it out. So. I'm, I bought it just based on other people's photography and pictures that they took with it. And based on the fact that one of my favorite photographers uses the 24-70 lens. And I would know because, you know, I've been just creeping on her page making sure that this is the lens that she uses for her photo shoots. I'm very excited to share with you guys a review of my pictures and my experiences with this lens. Now, if you're like me, before you bought this lens or were thinking about buying it, you probably researched a lot about it. In the end, I finally bought this lens and I'm so happy to have it because... I used it for a wedding yesterday and it was amazing. So first impressions of this lens, it is a little heavier than my 50. It's not too heavy. I mean, you're gonna need some muscle to hold this, just a little. So if you're like 20 pounds, try to get up to 30 just so you can hold it because it kind of hurts your hand a little. You are gonna build up some arm strength by holding this lens. Um, not by itself though, it obviously is gonna be with the camera body, you know, something like this. Um, but you're not gonna be like physically holding around like this. That'd be really awkward and weird. I don't know if you guys want to see it, if some people are interested in seeing like everything and I'll show you guys the back of it. Can you guys see me look? Hey guys! <laughs> I am a prime lens shooter. I usually don't shoot with zoom lenses. This is my first official zoom lens. So first time shooting with this lens, immediately fell in love. I used it for a fashion photo shoot. I will show you guys the pictures. So here are some photos that I took with the 24-70 to lens. These are from an event, so it's really really great for events. So you're able to get those close-ups as well, and you're able to get the whole scene. This is a little portrait shoot that we did, and I used the 24 to 70. It was great. It worked amazing. And actually, the picture came out really sharp and clear. This was a close-up that I did. I actually cropped this a lot closer. This is another photo that I took, and I'd like to think that if I was shooting this with my 50, that the leaves on the side would be a little bit more blurry, but with the 24 to 70 lens, it really came out sharp. And here's one of Sarah that I really liked. Uh, the sun was directly behind her. I think made the photo a little bit crisper. And here's another indirect sunlight. I was able to get a lot of that scenic background, like the, the, the city look in this photo, really because of the lens. I think between the 24 to 70 and then the 50 1.2, this lens is really just better for a lot of fashion stuff I think. If you want to get the background of some stuff, if you want textures to show, if you want to capture a scene, then the 24 to 70 is a great lens to use. When I'm shooting with my 50, I feel like it is very limiting. It's that is that lens is more for portraits, not to say that you can't do like full body cuz I always shoot full body with my 50. But I swear the difference between the 50 and the 24 to 70 is crazy. As far as fashion photography goes, I really fell in love with this lens. The ability to, to just zoom in and out ma just made it so much easier for me to capture like a whole scene. It's, it's kind of wide. I actually shot a wedding with this lens yesterday and God, it made things so much easier. I can get detail shots with it. For instance, if the bride and the groom are dancing, it's great to have a dance floor shot. If you're shooting a picture of a whole venue, the inside of a venue, this lens is great for that because it gets everything. Whereas if you're using the 35 or the 50, it's just not going to get that angle. So if you're on the fence about this lens, what I would think about is what are you going to use this lens for? If you're going to use this lens for weddings or fashion, definitely would recommend it for those. I used this lens for, for all of yesterday, honestly, for the entire wedding I was using this lens. It was so easy, it was so versatile. I didn't have to keep stepping back and forth to take some shots, you know, like up close shots. The lens is great in natural light. Now this lens starts at 2.8 which was fine for me because when I'm shooting fashion, I start usually like 2.0 and above anyways. So that wasn't a big issue for me. If you want like more bokeh and you want more light, I think that this is not the lens for you. So if you're doing more portraiture, like senior pictures and stuff, would I recommend this lens? Probably not. For me, I prefer the 35 or the 50 if you're doing portraiture, so that means family, if you're doing senior pictures, if you're just doing like standard portraits. 
for me, I don't think this is like a really good lens because the quality just isn't there for those types of pictures, at least for my style. If you are seriously considering like, you know, working with models and fashion editorials and stuff, this lens is amazing. You, you really should invest in it. This type of lens doesn't really blur out the background so much, which I actually kind of like. I didn't want it to be blurred out. I still wanted all that texture in the back. The first picture that I took with this lens, when I posted it on Instagram, everyone's like, how did you get this picture so sharp? How are your pictures so, so sharp? Like, how are, what lenses are you using? Uh, this is the lens that I used to take that picture, and I feel like the lighting, both the lighting and this lens, contributed to the crispness of the photo. Normally, when I'm shooting with my 50, I don't get super sharp photos. Again, this is going to depend on the type of lens that you're using, the subject in relation to the background, but with this lens, every photo was pretty clear. But if you are looking for really sharp photos, you wanna get the background and the scenery in there, definitely would recommend this lens. Are there any cons to this lens? Are there any bad things about this lens? Zooming in and out can be very tedious and kind of annoying, but I think you just get used to it. Like. I think I got carpal tunnel trying to do this. This is my number two favorite lens. I think this will be number one by the end of next year. This will be my favorite lens. If you are someone who wants more dreamy, magical type pictures, more bokeh, if you like a lot of light, blurriness in the background, I wouldn't really recommend this lens. I guess it just comes down to what is your style as a photographer and what type of lenses do you need. But this is great to have in your kit anyways, you know, if, if you have an event that's coming up and you need like wide angles and stuff, this, this is great. So it gets my personal recommendation. It is pricey, but it's totally worth the money. I've used this for just one wedding and I absolutely love it. I'll probably be using it for my other weddings. Anything else that you really need to know about this lens? It's awesome. So yeah, that's just my personal review. Let me know if you want me to do any type of other review. Thank you guys so much for watching.